What's going on, Virgo? Welcome to your reading from mid-October 2021. In this reading, we're going to look at your overall general energy for mid-October. We're going to look at some things that you may not see coming for mid-October. We're also going to get some direct messages and advice from your spirit guides and angel team for mid-October 2021, okay? So although this is a general reading, based on the law of attraction, if you find yourself here, then this message was meant to get to you for some reason, Virgo. So having said that, we are using the Osho Zen tarot deck in this reading as the main deck. We're also going to be clarifying the cards with the Teal Swan Frequency Tarot deck. So it may be a little bit different than what you're used to. Having said that, let's just jump into your reading. I'm going to do three major shuffles for the Virgos. Let's go. Messages for Virgo, mid-October 2021. Messages for Virgo, mid-October, 2021. Messages for Virgo, mid-October, 2021. See what's going on, guys. All right. So, your overall general energy is showing up here. It's a big decision that you have to make, okay? Something that you may be really scared to do, okay? First card coming out here, we have the Schizophrenia card. It's kind of like the Two of Swords in traditional tarot, but there's some sort of, like, uh feeling like you're stuck between two different choices here, okay? Two different choices, and you're definitely feeling guided to go in one of the directions, but I sense that the direction you're, you're feeling guided to go in may be the, the path that is um, not really well explored, because the final card in the overall energy is the morality card. This has to do with what you believe is good, bad, right, or wrong, your morals and values. The problem is, for a lot of you I sense for mid-October, is you're kind of battling with, like, what other people think you should do versus what you want to do. So this is kind of like what other people expect of you. This is what you really want to do over here. And there's some sort of moral battle. So it really has you in your head, right? These are two um, cards of the mind, the mind suit or the swords in traditional tarot. Okay, Virgo, you also have this guidance card. So I feel like spirit has been trying to communicate to you about something. And I feel spirit is saying to you right off the bat that... Um, you know, you already know the decision you have to make here, Virgo. You really do. You know the decision you have to make, but you also know that that comes with a price. So it's almost like the feeling that I'm getting for you right now is you're screwed if you do, you're screwed if you don't. Okay, so there's a lot to be um, unpackaged here. We're going to get into it. We're going to clarify in a second. The um, things that you don't see coming here for mid-October... You have the adventure card and you also have the new vision, okay? So there's going to be some sort of new excitement coming in and it definitely has to do with some sort of decision that you make. So I feel like ultimately whichever choice that you decide to go down, it's going to lead to a new state of being, a totally new state of being. New vision here, you see the old version of you is kind of dying here and the new version is going up into the cosmos to experience all this good stuff but really it's you grounding into the physical plane okay taking the higher guidance using all the lessons that you learned in your lessons you know from your for previous lifetimes also lessons in this type of time packaging it streamlining it into this present moment right now you also have the ab abundance card for what you don't see coming so this what you don't see coming virgo this is something is gonna go way better than you expected okay way better than you expected and it's this feeling like uh the universe rewards those who listen to their heart so there's something about aligning to your heart right now that's super powerful Okay, and then the messages from your spirit guides here, we have the breakthrough card for mid-October. So they definitely want you, I feel like what they're, this is in the same row in the vertical spot. 
So they're, your, your spirit guides are guiding you to break through to something here. And I feel like it's very challenging for you, though. Okay. Um, there's this also feeling you have the ordinariness card here. So this card pretty much says, like, chop wood. You know, before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. So although you're going to have a breakthrough and you're going to have a new vision and an adventure, it still is going to require work and it may make you feel... Um, like you're just kind of spinning your wheels, but I feel this is going to be an improvement. Whatever decision that you ultimately make is going to be improvement. For some of you, this could have to do with a relationship, deciding between one or two people. Okay. Um, we're going to figure that out as we clarify. You also have this isolation card message from your spirit guides. So this is a message that you definitely need to, to surround yourself with people of a like mind, Virgo. They say that you are the average of the five people that you hang out with most, Virgo. And um, I feel like this, this, this crossroads that you're at, you feel very lonely. You feel like no one understands you. Well, I could be the first person at least that can understand you. Although I'm sure you have some people... And if not, definitely surround yourself with the high vibe people that are out there. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to really get into your reading now and start clarifying some of these cards. So the first card that I want to clarify here is the morality card. What do you, What is tugging at you between, you know, your, your sense of good, bad, right, wrong? I feel like this is society's just like conditioning. Maybe it's your parents. Okay, maybe this has to do with a lover, like being with someone that for some reason is bringing up like unworthiness i don't know let's see why is this morality card here for virgo for mid-october morality why is the morality card here for virgo for mid-october Why is the morality card here for Virgo for mid-October? Okay, so the morality card here is clarified by the integrity card. Integrity. Okay, so I feel like you know that you, you're not living in alignment with your integrity right now, and it's really starting to get to you, okay? So there's something about... Um, making your own decisions for yourself, being with that person that maybe people will judge you for being, choosing that new career path, um, doing whatever it is that you know you have to do. When you can drop all of the morals that society and your parents put on you and you remain in power with your own integrity, that's super powerful. And the reason you're in pain right now is because you know you're not living in with your integrity. Okay, so whatever this means for you, you really have to do realize the reason why life is going to get better for what you don't see coming. I really feel when you live in alignment with your integrity, you see the two spikes here in the frequency. This is literally the frequency of integrity. There's a power that comes with that. Okay, so right now, if you're feeling like you don't have energy, like you're just you're, you're, you're drifting through life is kind of the feeling that's going to go away once you can really rewire maybe this has to do with your belief system okay it could have to do with a lot of shadow work let's see why is this schizophrenia card here this is really the first major this is the big card of the whole reading i would say okay why is this schizophrenia card here this could have to do with moving to a different place you're not you're not sure a new path i don't know let's see why is this schizophrenia card here for uh virgo Why is this schizophrenia card here for, ooh, yeah, so we have the relationship card. So for a lot of this has to do with a relationship, okay? So this is you, maybe it's the person that you're currently with, Virgo, you're trying to say, do I stay or do I go? And the morality card could have to do less with society now and more about your own integrity, okay? Your own personal truth. See how the readings evolve as we clarify, it's amazing. So this has to do for a lot of you with like, with a relationship, should I stay, should I go? And if I go, or if I stay, it's almost like if you stay, maybe it's like you're out of alignment with 
your own integrity. If you go, for some of you, you're also going to be out of alignment with your own integrity. So I see the pain here. It's kind of like the decision, do I choose me or do I do I choose someone else? And do I make do I make someone else happy? Because there's always um there's there's amazing frequencies contained within both. Now, this is an amazing card, right smack in the middle of these two frequencies, the guidance card, because I feel this is what spirit is guiding you to do about this relationship decision that you have. Okay, Virgo, so let's see what's going on here. Why is this guidance card here for Virgo? What more information do we need about this? Why is this guidance card here for Virgo? Why is this guidance card here for Virgo? Okay, so the guidance card is clarified by the confidence card. Okay, so your spirit guides are guiding you to be very confident. So whatever that means to you, the decision that you're, that you're ultimately going to make about this relationship, for some of you, it still might have to do with a different thing or, or multiple things. Um, it has to do with your confidence. Don't make a decision out of fear, right? Don't stay somewhere if you're truly unhappy out of fear. Your spirit guides are telling you to be confident. Right, the confidence. The this is like the eye of the tiger. I feel like spirit is saying, if you try to live your life just so you could play it safe right now, Virgo, things may not really. That's what you've already been doing, and that's why you're so upset. That's why you feel like there's no one to really get you, right? Because if you're not being authentic, then it's hard for anyone to really relate to you. Okay, so so there's this feeling like you got to act with confidence, and it. It, with your own integrity, okay? So I see why it's a, it's a very big decision for you to make here, Virgo. I really do. So let's move on to what you don't see coming here. Um, let's clarify this adventure card because this is the centerpiece. All the other cards in the reading are, are surrounded in this adventure card. What adventure awaits you here for what you don't see coming? Um, let's see. Why is this adventure card here for Virgo? I kind of feel like the universe has got, is calling you to to kind of get up and go, you know, but we'll see. Got two more here. Why is the adventure card here? Here we go. Why is the adventure card here for Virgo? Yeah, two cards were meant to come out. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so the relationship card, relationship card is jumping out again, but the two cards that popped out is the self love card and also the heritage card. Okay, self love and heritage, and also relationship. Okay. Um, Virgo <laughs> for adventure. So I feel like I feel like new relationships await you. And this is like the self-loving thing you could do. I really feel like the self-loving thing that you could do um, is to go on an adventure, Virgo. You, the universe is calling you away from a certain situation that you're playing it safe. No more playing it safe here. There's a lot that awaits you. And it's interesting that the heritage card would pop out. This has to do with like, for a lot of you, I feel like you're battling ancestral wounds. Like maybe a lot of people in your family line, they would always play it safe, right? That's why a lot of us made it to this physical plane from a certain physicalized perspective, but I feel like there's a certain ancestral pattern of always playing it safe, having this feeling, I want to do something else, but oh, the morality, the integrity, you know, um, I feel like there's some sort of thing here. You got to break a curse here. And I feel like it has to do with more free flowing relationships. You realize that human beings are not really meant to be with the same person for their whole life as we're taught, right? By society. That's great if you want to be, but like, a lot of us are, are here to bring a new frequency to planet Earth, which is much more free-flowing than the indoctrination that we've all been led to believe. So this is about breaking a family curse. So that's why that's why it's a hard, it's hard for you. So I see it, Virgo, you know. 
Um, let's clarify this new vision card because I feel like this is perfectly in alignment with the adventure. I feel like there's a lot of fun in your life that awaits you here, but it doesn't, it doesn't come by just playing it safe, you know? So let's see, why is this new vision card here for Virgo? I like how this reading is unfolding. <clears throat> why is this new vision card here for Virgo? Amazing that the schizophrenia card is clarified by the relationship. Damn. <laughs> Why is the new vision card here for Virgo? Okay, so we have the unfold card here. Unfold. So there's something about your higher purpose unfolding when you make this new decision to go on an adventure. The feeling is like if you can play it safe right now, yes, you won't ex you won't upset anyone. You won't have to deal with short term emotional fighting, right? You'll just be like, okay, I'll just stay where I am. Um, but unfold this was the new vision was meant to always unfold. So you listening to your be, listening to your own confidence, your own integrity about the relationship is when the new vision unfolds. Right now, you're at a you're at a very big holding pattern and that's why you feel isolated. That's why you feel it's almost like the feeling is you feel bored in your life. Like you you know it, you know it all, right? So sometimes it calls for a big kind of push, okay? And the abundance card is the other card that you didn't see coming. This is like the king of pentacles. So this shows I feel like the universe has a reward for you for listening to your heart. It always does. The universe always reveals its secrets to those who dare to follow their heart. And that's kind of what I'm getting for the unfold and the new vision. It's like, you don't even know what type of experiences are around the corner for you. If you can just have the courage to shake up your life. Okay, maybe that's what I'll title this video, shake up your life. Okay, um, because right now you're, you're feeling life is ordinary. Okay, that's what your spirit guides want you to know with this message, Virgo. They're just saying... It's not spicy. It's it's just it's it, it is it's not spicy enough. Okay, um, so let's let's move on to the messages. And this is really advice from your spirit guides, right? Why is this breakthrough card here for Virgo? Okay, why is this breakthrough card here for Virgo? Let's see. Why is this breakthrough card here for Virgo? All right. <laughs> so we have the mother card popping out. Mother. Okay. Breakthrough from the mother. Okay. So I feel like for a lot of you, um, maybe you have mommy issues a little bit. And, and that's why it's hard for you to make your own decisions. I feel like a breakthrough into your masculine. But the mother card is clarified by the breakthrough. Okay, so you almost have to break through, and it would make sense why the morality card is popping out here. I feel like you're programmed, like whatever, this has to do with your mother. Um, so this is like time for deep shadow work, Spirit is saying. It's like wh wherever you find yourself stuck in life, maybe the heritage card as well. Maybe this is what your mother felt. For a lot of you, you are female out there. You're very connected with your mother, or even if you're a man, it doesn't matter. There's something here about mother wound, breaking through the wounds that your mother never could break through. Okay, so look at the relationship to your mother here, Virgo. What What is her wounding? You got to break through that. Okay, so that may or may not even have to do with this choice. It has to do with a deeper reality, okay, with your mother. So look into the relationship with your mother. Look into your relationship with the womb of all creation, right? Do you believe you have what it takes to go on this new vision, this new adventure, right? A another interpretation of the breakthrough with the mother is... is sink into the manifestation, the visualizing it, but just allowing it. The womb of all creation can create whatever you want, right? This is not you going out and being like, so, oh my God, I have to create everything with my freaking fist and just like punch my way through life. The mother says, he yield to the yin, but not the pattern of your physical mother. There's something to do with your physical mother that's holding you back, okay, Virgo? Mommy issues would also be a good title for this <laughs> reading. Um, 
Now let's clarify this isolation card. This is the message from your spirit guide that's really saying you feel isolated in your current reality. There are people in spades that will love you, that will understand you, that will enrich your life. You're just not surrounded by them because you have yet to go on this. And it's it's really, there's a diagonal row in this reading. You have the schizophrenia, adventure, and isolation. I feel like your your adventure is right in the middle of these two negative cards, quote unquote negative. Um, so let's see, why is this isolation card here for Virgo for mid-October? Okay, the isolation card is clarified by the empowerment card and also the logic card. And it's interesting, look at that, that's 333 right there. You see that magical synchronistic number, 333. Super interesting. Look up the angel number 333. I was actually born in a house that was titled 333, the number of the house, 333 Park Ave. Um, logic and empowerment, though, Virgo, for isolation. So I feel like this is you stuck in your reality right here. You have to be empowered and you have to use your logic to get out of the situation. So maybe this is you really tapping. So you definitely have to tap into your masculine, use your willpower to break through the current feeling of stagnancy, the current feeling of stuckness, of ordinariness here. Okay, so use your logic and be empowered here. And also use your logic to uncover your belief system about what's going on with your mother here. Okay, so I really do feel like there's, um, if you can just take the leap of faith here, Virgo, and, and live dangerously until you die type energy, you're, you won't have to live dangerously until you die. You'll just have to live dangerously right now to stir up your reality so that you could be in a better place ultimately. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe below, also comment what you think. And with that being said, I'll talk to you on your next one. Good luck.